Lesson 3, Designing Aggregations. An analysis services measure group appears to contain every possible summarized value by every attribute contained in every dimension in the measure group. An aggregation is all the possible combinations of the members of one level from each attribute hierarchy in every dimension in a measure group. The simplest way to avoid data explosion is to avoid storing aggregations altogether and instead calculate them on demand. But when you have a large data warehouse, this option quickly takes its toll on query performance, because requesting a single high-level summary value from a measure group could require retrieving and summarizing a very large number of detail values. The challenge of OLAP is to make queries as fast as possible while avoiding data explosion. Analysis Services provides several features that allow the database administrator to control and fine-tune the relationship between the physical size of a measure group and the time it takes to process the measure group and the speed of the queries. In fact, Analysis Services provides options that allow for packed data files and responsive queries. Part 1, Create an Aggregation Design. In the Cube Designer, select the Aggregations tab. Right-click the Transaction Facts table and select Design Aggregations. On the Welcome to the Aggregation Design Wizard page, click Next. This page allows you to change the value of the attribute's aggregation usage property. Click Count. Because the measure group has only one partition, the estimated count and the partition count value for Transactions Facts table is the same. If you select the Estimated Storage Reaches option, you can set a limit in megabytes to specify how much disk storage space the aggregates can use. Click Reset. If you select the Performance Gain Reaches option, you can set a limit based on a percentage of the total performance gain that can be achieved by creating aggregations. You can also select the I click stop option. You can then watch the aggregation designer and click stop when you think an appropriate aggregation design has been achieved. On the set aggregation options page, select performance gain reaches, type the percentage value and click start. On the Completing the Wizard page, type Name, verify that Save the Aggregations but do not process them is selected, and click Finish. Process the Cube. The advanced view should display four aggregations. Part 2 – Inspecting Aggregations
When you process the aggregations, the cube updates an XML4 analysis XMLA, file that corresponds to the partition. This file contains information that analysis services uses to load the cube data, as well as to create storage for aggregations and load aggregated data into storage. The aggregation definitions are numbered beginning with number 0 and include information on each dimension and any attributes used in the aggregation. The aggregation definitions are numbered beginning with number 0 and include information on each dimension and any attributes used in the aggregation. Press Ctrl plus F, type aggregations in the Find What box, click Find Next, and then close the Find and Replace dialog box. By viewing the code for the partition file, you can review the aggregation information for each partition. The section of the file that contains the aggregation definitions begins with the aggregations tag. Part 3. Changing Partition Counts. One of the key pieces of information that the aggregation design wizard requires is the count of fact table rows as well as the count of granularity attributes within each dimension. When you are developing a database, you are often using a subset of data, so the count of rows currently in the fact table likely differs from the actual row count expected in a production database. To get a more accurate aggregation design for your production database, even while working with a smaller development version, you can enter a long-term estimated value. You don't need to be precise, but don't underestimate either. The counts are used only for aggregation design, but may result in an aggregation design that is less than optimal if you underestimate the row count. Click Aggregation tab. Right-click the first row in the table for the car transactions partition, click Design Aggregations, click Next three times. Click Estimated Storage Reaches and type 100 in the spin box to the right of this option, and then click Start. A total of 8 aggregations were designed by the wizard based on the current size of the fact table and dimensions. Click back, and on the Specify Object Counts page of the wizard, type 2 million in the Partition Count box for car transactions. Expand cars and type 100 in the Partition Count box for cars. Expand Salesman and type 100 in the Partition Count box for Salesman. Click Next. Click Start. The number of aggregations is increased to 46 because the number of rows for each granularity attribute is relatively low compared to the large fact table. Click Performance Gain Reaches and type 30 in the spin box to the right of this option. Click Finish to complete the wizard without processing the cube.
Part 4, Optimizing Aggregations The Aggregation Design Wizard selects aggregations from a pool of potential aggregations. The default pool of potential aggregations includes all the granularity attributes from each dimension. You can increase this pool by changing attribute properties and adding user hierarchies from related attributes. This design strategy is good for a new cube that you are putting into production, but it might not be optimized for your users. The best way to design optimized aggregations is to consider the actual data that users request from the cube and the frequency with which they request it after they've had a chance to use the cube for a while. One of the most powerful features of analysis services is usage-based optimization. It allows you to select aggregations based on actual queries submitted to the server that is on the usage of real-world users. The usage-based optimization wizard behaves exactly like the aggregation design wizard except that it factors into the equation the actual usage patterns. Click database engine in the server type box, ensure the server name is correct, and then click connect. In the Object Explorer, click Connect, click Analysis Services, ensure the server name is correct, and then click Connect. Right-click the Analysis Server in the Object Explorer window, and then click Properties. Locate the Create Query Log Table property, and then select True. Click the button in the value box for the query log connection string property, type server name, select use Windows authentication, select car transactions in the select or enter a database name drop down list, and then click OK. Type 1 in the value box for the query log sampling property. Click OK. Right-click the Tables folder and click Refresh. The table called OLARP Query Log is added to the database. Spend a few minutes browsing the Car Transactions cube. In Object Explorer right-click the OLARP Query Log, and then click Select Top 1000 Rows. Each time you added a dimension or a measure to the grid, moved items off the grid, or drilled up or down within a hierarchy, a new record was inserted into the OLARP Query Log. Part 5, Using the Usage-Based Optimization Wizard Once you've accumulated a set of queries in the usage log, you can use the Usage-Based Optimization Wizard to design aggregations. The Usage-Based Optimization Wizard is essentially the Usage Analysis Wizard attached to the front of the Aggregation Design Wizard. First, you select the logged queries that should apply, and then you design aggregations.
Click Aggregation tab. Right click Transaction Facts table and click Usage Based Optimization. Click Next. On the Specify Query Criteria page, there are several different filters that you can use to customize the optimization process. On this page, you can see the frequency with which specific attribute combinations occur and the average duration of queries that include these combinations. Select performance gain reaches, type 100 in the percent box, and then click start on the set aggregation options page. Type aggregation name and click finish. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com